How's it going everyone? Colby here with Colby's Cards and today is Topps release day for 2022 Topps Series 2. Um, I know that there's been a lot of, I don't want to say controversy, but a lot of disappointment across the hobby just because um, people are pretty disappointed with the checklist in this. There's no base rookie cards of um, Bobby Witt Jr. There's no base rookie cards of Julio Rodriguez, um, just a lot of the people that you would expect to see or that we were kind of hoping to see uh, in this checklist. Now, they do have autographs. They do have, I believe, some inserts, things like that, but they're not in the base checklist. So very disappointing. Um, but some of the rookies that I will be looking for or the rookie that I will be looking for is O'Neill Cruz uh, for my Pittsburgh Pirates. So excited to see if we can find anything there. Obviously, op obvious. Also hoping, if I could speak, um, to get the autograph out of here rather than a relic card. I know that's a little bit easier said than done. Um, but let's just take a look at the box. If you haven't seen it, if this is your first video, please go ahead and check out some of my other videos um, that I've got on the channel. I've got a lot of baseball card content, so definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, appreciate you all watching this video, and let's go ahead and dive right in. So as you open the hobby box here, as you would see it in a store, you could just kind of push this into the back and see Vlad Jr. up there in all of his glory. If you want to see, ah, don't worry about it. Um, in the regular hobby box, uh, we do go ahead and get one of these hobby exclusive um, silver packs. So we get one of those in a regular hobby, and then we get two. We would get two of those in a hobby jumbo. I opted for the regular hobby box just because I really was not, again, like not impressed with the. Uh, checklist kind of like the majority of other people um, so just really didn't feel like wasting the money on the hob the jumbo hobby um, because I'll probably also go ahead and get some retail of this whenever that releases later in the month um, so now we have the empty box I'm gonna go ahead and close this up put it in the background for something to look at and dive into our first packs uh, the good news at least in um, what I'm seeing pulling these packs out is that I don't see any packs that are significantly thicker than others. So hoping that at least we got an autograph, we get an autograph out of here, that would be sick. Um, so keep your fingers crossed, everybody. Here are the odds, and then we'll dive right in. So here are the odds, as well as the no purchase necessary information, if you so choose to do that. Um, again, Vlad Jr. is on the front, as opposed to Shohei Otani, who was on the cover of Series 1. And we're off. This is my official first opening of Series 2 of 2022. So let's get right into it. So we start off here with uh, Marlins card, Luis Brinson. Got a Joey Bart Future Stars. I'm going to go pretty slowly. So if you want to watch it in 1.5 speed or two times speed or just kind of fast forward, feel free. Uh, but this is my first time seeing a lot of these cards. I haven't really watched any videos yet today. Um, so I will not be offended if you go ahead and choose to skip ahead. We do see that we've got the uh, the unfortunate flipped kind of uh, stuff going on there, like the collation is just obviously flipped. As per usual in Topps Hobby Products, there's a Jonathan India Generation Now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set aside, and they did actually increase the size of the rookie logo again, so this is definitely bigger than it was in series one. Kind of interesting that they'd change it in the middle of a print run or the middle of two different series, ziz, ziz. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and separate out the rookies just because I'm curious to see how many we get in a hobby box, um, as I'm sure most of you are also. So we only got two rookies out of that pack. Uh, go ahead and set this aside, put the base cards in the back. So we got two rookies and a Generation Now insert card out of our first pack. I do still really like the, uh, I still enjoy the design of these cards. I think they're really sick looking. Um, I like them better than 2021, though I did actually just go ahead and uh, look through some of my collection at my old 2021 cards. And uh, it was nice to like see those again, as tired as I was of seeing those um, at the end of last year and the beginning of this year, because I was obviously looking for, uh, looking forward to series or 2022 tops. Um, it was nice to see that older design again as it is to go back and kind of look at all of your old cards every once in a while. All right, on to pack three. So we averaged, I think, was it three rookies out of that pack? So doing a little bit better there. 
There's one there. There's Josh Van Meter. Peyton Henry. Not super familiar with a lot of these, uh, a lot of these rookies this year, unfortunately. So we will see what we can find. There is a uh, Seattle Mariners team card, Ian Anderson. And here's our first 1987 design. It's a Ryan Velade rookie card. So that's at least a bonus. Get that rookie 1987 design. There's what the back looks like. Very familiar to uh, series one. This one has a little bit of a bummed corner, which is unfortunate, but still a nice looking card. Put that with the uh, 87 inserts. There's Miles Straw. MVP meets rookie. That's kind of cool. So it's uh, Bryce Harper and Wander Franco hugging there on the field. So kind of a Wander Franco card, at least. But if, in my opinion, if it doesn't say Wander Franco on it, at least on the front, then it's not really a Wander Franco card. I'm going to get the the want for as many Wander cards as you can get, obviously, but still not an official Wander card. All right, Luis Frias, rookie. David Fletcher, Bailey Ober. Um, a lot of these rookies, too, uh, or at least some of the, the, the higher-end rookies, if you will, uh, we saw in uh, Gypsy Queen. We saw them in trying to think what other releases heritage has come out since series one has come out as well so definitely have seen some of these names before and obviously on the field as well Jordan Alvarez looking cool all right so looking for like short prints stuff like that still looking for our autograph out of here um we get it one autograph or relic we're not really we're not guaranteed any other hits than that um I do know that historically series two is usually I would say always printed at a lower rate than series one. So we're probably gonna see a little bit more color, maybe a little bit better odds at short prints, things like that um, coming out of this hobby box. But again, like I said, I, I did opt for the regular hobby box versus the hobby jumbo just to kind of save money because I wasn't super impressed with the checklist. And I'll probably be going ahead and getting, you know, other products as well like the retail versions hanger boxes fat packs of series two things like that um, so definitely be on the lookout as those products get released i will certainly release those videos too keep moving here got max muncie luis garcia and Corey dickerson he's a former pirate kind of weird to see him in a different uniform he's been bopped around all over the place he played for the, the marlins for a minute um i don't know he played obviously now plays for the blue jays so kind of interesting I do see our first numbered card coming up. I thought I saw something back there at least. There's Jake Fraley, um, Fenway Park Fireworks. So here's a card of the Yankees at Fenway at least. It, or Yeah, I guess they would be at Fenway in that picture, right? It's kind of cool. Uh, Sensatella, Cody Bellinger, Carter Keyboom, Luis Diaz, Jake Cronenworth, uh, Future Stars. And here's our numbered card. It is a high five highway of the Dodgers uh, in the gold parallel, or a lot of people are calling these brown instead. Uh, but it's numbered 1845 out of 2022. And set that down here. Kind of, we'll go over all the uh, all the different inserts and, and parallels and stuff that we get at the end. There's Randy Dobnak with his legendary mustache and Ryan Valade base rookie card. Or Velade, however you want to say it. Keep rolling here. Looks like we've got a rainbow foil coming up or something foiled. There's a nice Dylan Carlson gold cup card. Justin Verlander, Adolis Garcia. Brad Keller, Garrett Richards, Ronald Torres. Here is Justin Buell, or Br Bruel, rookie. And doo -doo -doo, Anthony Santander. And our gold foil is Luis Severino for the Yankees. Pretty cool looking card there. Go ahead and set that down. Uh, we get a Jackie Robinson, 19, I guess that's, yeah, that's an 87 design, but it is the um, all-star variation. So that's pretty nice looking. I'll set that in a different pile. There's Zach Gallen, Brandon Nimmo, TJ Friedel rookie card, and Dean Kramer. Our last pack of the first stack here. I'm actually going to set these rookies in the back so I have more room for the inserts. Getting a little cleaned up. There we go. Just they are. Alrighty. Alright, last pack of the first stack. 
still looking for the autograph and or relic. Also looking for my guy, O'Neill Cruz. Got Austin Barnes, Carlos Carrasco, Elvis Andrews. Here's a rookie of AJ Alexi. William Contreras there for the Braves. Glaber Torres. Jack Lopez rookie for the Red Sox. There's Mark Canna in his Mets uniform. Alfonso Rivas, Cubs. Uh, David Vody and Michael Chavis. He's in. That's actually pretty cool. He is in his uh, his um, throwback uniform for the Pirates. Uh, those are the the old Homestead Grays from the Negro Leagues uniform. So that's pretty cool to see there. I actually I like Michael Chavis. He's come in clutch a lot for us this season so far. Obviously the Pirates are not a team to really write home about, but still my hometown team. So. I'm going to root for them no matter what. Those are That's who I grew up watching and rooting for and everything like that. Here's a nice Jose Siri rookie card, one of the nicer ones. David Peralta, Luis Arias. Here's a rookie of Kevin Smith for the Blue Jays. Taylor Widener, uh, Jonathan Villar. And here is the insert of the No Hit Club. This is new for uh, 2022 Series 2, the No Hit Club. Through a no-hitter for Washington on June 20th of 2015, Max Scherzer. Unfortunately, that was against the Pittsburgh Pirates, as it says very, uh, very unfortunately there in the bottom. I mean, it's nice that they show that, but unfortunately it was for my Pirates. Uh, here's a Hans Kraus rookie card. Rafael Ortega and Bryce Wilson. Uh, I'm also interested, let me know in the comments down below, it looks like we've got our auto coming up, so I'm actually going to set this down over here to the right, uh, pull these cards off the back. So we've got Ray versus San Martin, rookie, Nathan Ivaldi, Reese Hoskins, and Yanni Hernandez. Uh, I'm going to save those, like I said before, so we're going to keep rolling. At least we got an autograph, guys. I'm super pumped about that. I, I'm hoping it's a big autograph. It looked like it was the 1987 design, which I think is what uh, Bobby Witt Jr. and Julio Rodriguez autographs are. Uh, but we will see when we get there. There's Jake McCarthy, rookie. Um, Austin Hayes. Sean Murphy. Rookie of Romy Gonzalez. Tucker Davidson. Dylan Moore. Tucker Barnhart. Been around for a while. Yoli Gurriel in an 87 of Acuna. That's a nice card there. Acuna Jr. in the 87 design. Then we have Teoscar Hernandez, Sandy Leone, future stars of Tristan McKenzie, Dr. Styx for the Guardians, and Josh Hader. All right, so we do have that one numbered card. Uh, we also had the rainbow foil, but otherwise nothing, nothing colored as of yet. And this one is also backwards. This one actually looks like a relic, so... Not sure what the other upside down card is, unless we got like a bonus hit. I'm going to pull that to the back. Um, so Alec Bohm, Future Stars, and then I'm going to put him on the back as well so we can kind of do a slow reveal because these are my cards and I can do what I want. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ryan Feltner, pitcher for the Rockies. Jordan Lyles. I think he played for the Pirates for a, a minute. Yep, for one season he was on our, on our Pirates. Uh, Miguel Rojas. Sixto Sanchez, Pablo Lopez, and Joe Adele, Future Stars. And then we have our backwards card, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it. Move Joe Adele to the stack. Alec Bohm is going to reveal a black border. All-Star Tatis. Look at that. It is numbered. It's a bat relic of Fernando Tatis Jr. Bat relic out of 199. Very, very nice. Decent condition, I would say a little softness up here on the top and at the top left, but I'm going to probably keep this anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, it is numbered 161 of 199 in the All-Star 1987 black border parallel of that design. So very, very cool to have a piece of Tatis's relic. If you're going to get a relic out of your packs, that is one to certainly get. Put him up in the back there. So now I'm very confused as to what this backwards card is. Um, hopefully it's something cool, but uh, we will see at the end of the video. Maybe we got a bonus hit, guys. I don't know. All right, could be the uh, the hobby box of the year for me. Here is Tyler O'Neill, 
There's Toronto Talent with uh, Bichette and Guerrero Jr. Then we have Brandon Lau, Luis Garcia Gold Cup, Francisco Mejia, Carlos Correa, Nate Lowe, Jonathan Scope, and an 87. Here's the regular 87 design all-star card of Fernando Tatis. You can see the difference there. I'll pull this back up to the front. So the base card on the left versus the black border relic card on the right. Pretty cool. Put that with the other 87 all-star cards. And then we have Guillermo Heredia, Gary Sanchez, rookie of Mike Bauman, and Javier Baez in his Tigers uniform. Oops, bump the camera, sorry guys. Get that back. There we go. All right, this pack starts off with Robbie Ray and Michael Taylor, Lane Thomas, AJ Pollock, Gerardo Parra, Kevin Kiermeyer, Yoan Mancata, Victor Caratini, Andres Jimenez, JP Crawford. Looks like a base pack here, everyone. Let me do flip it over to Cole Calhoun. Here's a rookie of Otto Lopez. He's shown up a lot in different products. Uh, Justin Upton and Dan Vogelback. Uh, surprised that he's still in his Brewers uniform. He plays for the Pirates now. Um, just kind of surprised that they wouldn't have updated that because he's been on our team for, I think, the whole season at this point since uh, since the lockout happened. So not sure what that's all about. All right, looks like we've got an insert and a rainbow foil in this pack. We have Jonathan Daza, Drew Rasmussen, Willie Peralta, um, Brewers card, Dodgers card, and a Braves card. This is postseason passion with Dansby Swanson and Ozzy Albies. And then we have Charlie Blackman and Aaron Hicks. We have a rainbow foil of Yusei Kikuchi. This, uh, if any of you are fans of striker breaks, he would be very upset with this card. <laughs> so shout out to striker breaks. Uh, here's one of these new inserts uh, as well, the sweet shades. They're kind of complementary to the... Um, what do you call them? The flashiest feet or flashy feet inserts from series one. So kind of like these better because they're better pictures of the actual players themselves. I just think they're a little better looking there. Uh, and then Andrew Benintendi gets a card. Alejandro Kirk, Trace Thompson, and Brad Miller. I don't think this is like a throwback card. I, I, or I don't think it's a special card. I think it's a normal, yeah, 47... 47. So yeah, that's just the uh, the old Kansas City Monarchs jersey that he's wearing there. So nothing too special on that card. Just the picture that they chose. All right, I know we're coming up on 20 minutes here, but uh, thank you all very much for staying with me. Certainly appreciate it. There is Fran Mill Reyes and Taylor Trammell. High Five Highway Dodgers card again. That's the uh, regular version of that card. There's the Tigers. There is Rafi Devers. Byron Buxton, and Nick Madrigal. And then we have Juan Yepes' rookie card, sideways sliding into a, either home plate or, for, or second or third base there. And then we get another rainbow foil of Paul Goldschmidt. We've gotten three rainbow foils already. Here's a nice one, Shohei Otani and that Sweet Shades design. Uh, very, very nice looking there. Go with Tatis. We have Edward Cabrera, rookie, and Mike Soroka, Frankie Lindor, and Giovanni Moran, rookie card. All right, just about six, seven packs left. Again, thanks for tuning in, staying with me here. Um, certainly appreciate it. If you haven't checked out any of my videos previously, I would really appreciate it, or at least giving me a like or a subscribe on this video. Getting a couple rookies there. Oliver Ortega. Here's a Red Sox card. Kansas City Royals, and we get a backwards, looks like something. Frank Thomas short print. That's pretty sweet. I love Frank Thomas. We got a short print of Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Um, the way that you can tell it's a short print, not only was it flipped upside down, um, but when they put former MLB players on the current card designs like this, that's always a guaranteed giveaway. And then to guarantee it even further, if you look, so this is the regular Red Sox card. Um, the code on the top ends in 4-7, and the code on the Frank Thomas on the bottom ends in 6-5. So I'm not entirely sure if that is a, like a short print, super short print, or a super, super, super duper short print, but still a really nice card to get. 
Uh, I will go ahead and sleeve and top load those all up at the end. Uh, Aaron Nola and Connor Overton. I've actually not really heard of him too much for my Pirates. Super happy to get a Frank Thomas short print as I bump the camera yet again. Love Frank Thomas. Remember watching him play when I was very, very, very little. And obviously he is a uh, broadcaster now. Let's see. Elias Diaz, former Pirate. Jay Happ. Jamer Candelario. There's a nice Manny Machado. I like this picture. I saw this in one of the checklists or whatever, um, but I do really like that picture. Sorry, y'all got a phone call in the middle of the video, but here is that Manny Machado card. Um, Jason Castro and Luis Severino. We've got, oh, this is nice too. Um, Yadi Molina and Adam Wainwright. This is both of their last seasons, so it's cool to see them on the same card. Then we get a Ryan Sandberg in that All-Star 87 design. There's Jorge Lopez and Chris Bassett and Cutter Crawford for the Red Sox. And then the Shohei Otani Ota Ota gets another card this time. Um, that's pretty cool. All right, still looking for my guy, O'Neill Cruz. Hoping to get him before the video's over. If not, I'll have to go ahead and chase him down somewhere else. Patrick Corbin. Got a rookie of Connor Seabold. There's Alex Wood and a Cubs card. We've got a Mets card, a lot of sideways, a lot of landscape facing cards this time around. Dallas Keuchel, man, he really did not have a great start to his season. I think he even got sent down um, to work on some of his mechanics and just kind of calm down there a little bit. There's Joe Ryan, really nice pitcher for the Twins, followed by Paul Goldschmidt and Willie Adames. And we're down to our last five packs, it looks like, and then I'll reveal what I think is an auto. Honestly, at this point, I have no idea what it is. Um, but if we get an auto and a relic, that would be absolutely phenomenal. First time for me for both in a hobby box, so we will see if it's the first time making history here on Colby's cards. Uh, there's Marcos Diplan, 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 DJ Stewart, Stephen Piscotti, and we have a few sideways cards here. We've got a rookie of Elvis, Paguero, Glenn Otto, Carlos Santana, and the Pirates card. Nice card there with uh, Brian Reynolds and Key Brian Hayes. And we have the Cleveland Guardians card as well, kind of celebrating Jose Ramirez. And then we have Ozzy Albies, Giancarlo Stanton, rookie of Henry Ramos, and Christian Arroyo. Oops, I consolidate these. There we go. All right, starting off this pack with Sandy Alcantara, Eric Haas, Leori Garcia, and Trent Grisham. Bunch more sideways cards. Got Luke Voigt. Dugout congratulations there for the Angels. A rookie of Sean Gwenther, or Gunther. And a Phillies card. And then Max Stassi base. Here's a nice uh, significant statistics of Shohei Otani with 78 barrels. Let's see. Shohei drilled the ball with great frequency. The American League MVP honored led all players with 78 barrels, batted balls with a launch angle and exit velocity that generally would produce a 500 plus average and a 1500 plus slugging. Uh, second on the chart was Vlad Jr. with 75. So 78 and 75, that's pretty sweet. That's another insert there. And then here's my guy. Here is O'Neal Cruz. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up right away just because this is the card I was really looking forward to in Series 2 as well as any sort of like autographs or anything like that, obviously. Um, but super excited to finally get that in one of the last packs here. I was getting a little nervous. There's Dylan Cease along with Chris Paddock and Angel Zerpa or Angel Zerpa. Right, getting down to the nitty gritty. Looks like we've got a home run challenge card <clears throat> in this pack. We have Blake Snell. Here's a rookie of Spencer Strider, who now has a pretty sick mustache. Chris Sale, Josh Harrison, former Pirate. Uh, Michael Kopech for the White Sox. There is a couple more sideways. Um, so we get a powerful honor with Tatis. We have Austin Warren rookie card. 
And Matt Carpenter, he now actually is with the Yankees, which is pretty wild. And then here's a home run challenge card of Shohei Otani. I've actually already pulled two of his um, home run challenge cards out of Series 1, so excited to have another one there. I won one of those, so that was pretty sweet. So excited to uh, try my luck yet again. All right. Last two base packs. Maybe get something good or at least colored out of these. That would be nice. It's colored and numbered other than our one gold card. There's a Greg Diekman for the Cubs. We've got Jock Peterson back in his Braves uniform. Frankie Montas. Jansen Junk, rookie. Andrew Young. And then Jackie Bradley Jr. back with Boston this year. And superstars in the Big Apple. There's a Mets card. Manny Margot and Minnesota Twins card. We have a rookie of Brian De La Cruz for the Miami Marlins in the 87 design. Trey Turner, Adrian Hauser, Cabert Ruiz, and Dansby Swanson. All right, guys, last base pack. Again, thank you very much for watching. Certainly appreciate the support of the channel. See if we can get anything wild and crazy out of here. It looks like we've got something red, which is pretty sweet. There's a Noah Syndergaard, Colton Welker, rookie, Walker Bueller, Brandon Woodruff, Boston Bashes, uh, Nico Goodrum, Abraham Toro, and Tommy Edmond. And our JT Brubaker leads us to a red foil of Chris Bubich. Check that out. Chris Bubich red foil. What are reds numbered to? They're numbered to 199. Okay, I thought they were going to be a little bit lower than that, but 199 is still pretty sick. Um, but honestly, it's a beautiful looking red card too. I think that just really pops. It's a nice little contrast to the Royal Blue, uh, Royals Blue. Put that up in the back because I've got very little room in front of me on camera. Uh, we've got a Curvin Castro rookie, Ryan Mountcastle Gold Cup, and James Caprillion. And that does it for those. We can go ahead and reveal what the heck's going on here. So Lorenzo Kane, I'm going to flip him to the back. Uh, we've got Ronzi Contreras rookie. Jonathan India, Lamont Wade Jr., Herman Marquez. There is Jonathan Diaz, rookie pitcher for the Angels. Logan Allen, Evan White, and Jose Urena. And the next card is flipped upside down. This doesn't mean it's an auto, but I am hopeful. So I'm going to pull Jose Urena off the back. Lorenzo Kane's going to be our guy that shows what's going on. It's upside down. It's blue, it's the 87 blue border for my Red Sox, Pedro Martinez. So it was turned upside down. We did not get an autograph out of this box, um, but it is the blue border and it is not numbered either. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm gonna sleeve it up regardless, but uh, super interesting to get that in the blue border, but you know, still an extra parallel. And last but not least, we got our foil pack or silver pack, if you will. I'm going to go ahead and open this up carefully, potentially. So it doesn't look like we got anything thick in here. Usually the autos are a little bit thicker than the normal cards. Um, there's just the Home Run Challenge kind of promotional card there. So on our first one, in the Mojo Parallel 87 design, we've got a Topps Chrome of Stan Musial. We've got Jose Barrios. Aaron Nola for the Phillies. And our last card of the box is for the Brewers. It's an autograph. Check that out. It's a rookie auto of Aaron Ashby. So we did, after all, get an autograph, a bonus autograph in this box. Um, out of the silver pack. Very, very fortunate to do so. Take a look at that. The Mojo Refractor 87 design Aaron Ashby. Obviously, it's a pitcher. It's a rookie pitcher, but still kind of a cool double A Um initials there in the auto it's not oh it is numbered check that out it's out of 199 as well so i forgot that the autographs are numbered out of these um so that what can you do man i mean that was a pretty decent hobby box would have really liked to get you know one of the big guys uh j-rod um bobby witt jr in the special cards but let's take a look a little recap here i'm gonna throw this little piece of advertisement away uh, but we've got 387 cards so we've got Brian De La Cruz, rookie, Ronald Acuna, and then Ryan Velade, rookie as well. Um, we have the 87 All-Star cards as well. So Ryan Sandberg, Tatis, 
and Jackie Robinson's always a good one to get. Um, a few of these sweet shades, we've got Tatis and Shohei, kind of rainbow foiled up there. Got a nice no-hit club, Max Scherzer. A Generation Now, this is the only one of these we got of Jonathan India, Rookie of the Year for the NL last year. Uh, three rainbow foils. I can't believe we got three rainbow foils. Um, Paula Goldschmidt, Yusei Kikuchi, and Luis Severino. One die cut card of Joe Morgan for the Reds, not numbered. We do have a gold card of High Five High Waves um, for the Dodgers, so I'd, I would like it to have been a single player on the card, but uh, still out of 2022 gold parallel. Our mojos were Aaron Nola, Jose Barrios, and Stan Musial, along with the Aaron Ashby autograph. It's a sticker auto, but uh, still a rookie auto nonetheless, so a little bit of a bonus there. We also got a really nice short print of The Big Hurt. And we did get um, a Shohei home run challenge, which I will be putting in probably soon. Uh, and then a significant statistics insert of Shohei as well. And we also got a bonus uh, 87 blue border of Pedro Martinez. This is not numbered, however. And then the hits, obviously, we had that autograph. Um, we have a Chris Bubich red out of 199, red foil. And then this is just my personal hit, uh, O'Neill Cruz rookie card. And the actual hit, the guaranteed hit of the box, was a Tatis 87 All-Stars black border out of 199 uh, bat relic. So very, very nice game-used bat relic there. You can see congratulations here on the back. And uh, overall, just a really, really great hobby box. Uh, I paid exactly $100 plus tax for this at my local card store. Sports Card Junction, check them out. Uh, certainly appreciate you all checking out the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.